and oopsie. All right, switching on over. So as you remember last time, we managed to get off the Enclave Space Station after uh, Officer Park sacrificed himself, despite us having a conversation about how sacrificing yourself is stupid and pointless and like sacrificing for people who like aren't really caring about you, yada, yada, yada. He just like, yeah, I'll sacrifice myself for this and immediately got into a chamber and uh, uploaded his consciousness to the space station to stop himself destructing so we could get off of it to survive. Very uh, good shit there, hombre. But uh, anyway, we uh, got off the space station, chased the crazy scientist guy into outer space, had a kind of dumb uh, aircraft duel with him using our uh, lovely vehicle right here and uh well he kind of blew up we lost the rangefinder so really we gained nothing from that escapade other than all this fat loot that i have that is currently taking up more inventory space than it should because these space suits now actually weigh things so we're toggling god mode so i can actually move um because i want to be able to move and sell some stuff all right, so... Oh, it's we you. We already talked to Edmund. I forgot. The technology Blackboard? we've recovered from the Archimedes II is remarkable. Although the death ray may be unusable, we at least now have the resources needed to complete the Liberator. But more importantly, the Archimedes II is out of the wrong hands, and the Enclave will no longer be a threat. I'm sure this is the final nail in their coffin. I understand we lost a lot of good soldiers, including Officer Troy Parks, who courageously sacrificed himself to save his fellow comrades. They will be mourned, but it's time we finally begin to move forward again. My men are already taking advantage of the new Enclave tech, and have been victorious at pushing back the Scavs and Legion in the frontier. We're quickly gaining back lost territory and our morale, and once the Liberator is fully operational, victory will be assured. It's only a matter of time now. You have done more for us than I could have ever asked for, Courier. You brought us back from the brink, and now fate is looking to be on our side. You deserve to be properly compensated. Hell, maybe once we liberate the NCR, you'll be given a Medal of Honor for your service. Anything else I can do to help? Nice caps, by the way. You've done enough for us already. But if you're still looking for work, I think Wei could use some help with getting the Liberator ready. You should go speak to him. Godspeed. All right. We're talking to Wei, then. Well, Courier, I guess you have proven yourself to be reliable after all. I don't think anyone else could have managed a takeover of an entire space station controlled by the Enclave. Correct. This triumph has now made us more technologically advanced than the Brotherhood. How much tech did we win? There's more tech than I know what to do with. Weapons, armor, schematics. I even got my hands on an Enclave Titan. I can't wait to see this baby in action. There's plenty here to keep me busy for a lifetime. What are the prospects of the space station? From the reports I've received, the space station is a mess. It would likely take decades to get it fully operational again. Not to mention, we don't even have the manpower or know-how to repair and operate it efficiently. If we had the Euclid Sea Finder, we could at least operate the Death Ray. But I heard that's been lost. As it stands, it would be best to just gut the space station and use the tech on the Liberator or elsewhere. True. Anything you'd help with? No offense, but I think most of this would be beyond you. Wow, rude. Okay. Courier, everyone. There's something you all need to see in the command center. This is urgent. But I didn't want to be teleported. So what have you found, Siren? That right there is the homing beacon for the Sea Finder Voss had. Really? How can you be sure? Oh, fuck. I thought you said the Sea Finder was obliterated. Oop, nope. Created by an asteroid along with Voss. I don't know how. The same homing beacon Courier activated back on the space station is now signaling its location here in the frontier. Mm hmm. It's possible the Sea Finder re entered Earth's atmosphere after the asteroid hit and, out of sheer luck, happened to land right here in the frontier. 
Assuming it even survived the re-entry, it might still be recoverable. What are the coordinates of the signal? It's just northeast of Portland. Hmm. This is in Legion territory. Even worse, it appears the signal is coming directly from the Legion stronghold known as Ostia. They must have already recovered the thing and are now holding it within their stronghold. The Legion wouldn't have any idea what that Sea Finder is. Why would they even bother with it? They probably saw it fall from the sky and figured it was something of interest worth holding on to. Maybe they even believe it's a blessing to them by the gods. Regardless of whether or not the Legion know what that device is capable of, we need to retrieve it from them. Are you suggesting we send troops to attack Ostia now? That might be our only plan. Unless you have a better one? I've done enough recon on Ostia to know the place inside and out. Ostia is some old pre-war museum that was built like a castle and has been further fortified by the Legion. A direct assault on the fort would prove costly. Even more so than your assault on the new Buckman Stadium. The Legion is using this castle as their main headquarters in the frontier. I expect their most elite forces to be guarding it, along with ground and air defenses. I say we send someone in to infiltrate Ostia and recover the Seafinder covertly. They could pose as a traveling merchant to get through the first gate. But they'll have to get through two more gates before they'll reach the castle itself. It'll be up to whoever decides to go in to figure it out from there. Courier, what do you think? Would you be willing to infiltrate the Legion stronghold? They know it's who I am. It's likely Valerius will be there. This may be your chance to get revenge on him. Hi, yes, it's me, the Courier, a simple, humble merchant. Um... Let me prepare first. No worries. We'll continue to search for ways into Ostia. Okay. Quest. Lion's Den. Data. Speak to Black Thumbs on new mission. Okay. Speak to Sigurd. Uh, find another job. Where was he at? No. What was Sigurd? Oh, the minigun flyby thing. Yeah, n <laughs> no, no, thank you. Um, examine the radio at the Vanguard outpost. We can do that. Side quest thing here quick. Regardless, we need to sell some shit, so. Also, real quick, the Legion would not be like, hmm, this weapon. This is a very strong weapon. We should not test it out. They would 100% aim it at a fucking target, fire, and then destroy their own base. 100% that's what would happen. 100%. Also, hold on. I really want to... If I do this... Yeah, okay. Um, Fallout, New Vegas, uh, Power Armor Training Command... I really do not want to not be able to wear power armor. And I feel like uh, I should be able to just do this. That's not what I wanted. Let's see. It's a perk. We're going to here. Find it, yada, yada, yada. Try player ID and perk, yada, yada, yada. Copy. Okay. Till day. Can I just control V? Nope. What about can't paste either? Okay. Uh, what was that? It was player dot add perk. Oops, not space. Oh, there we go. And then uh five eight FDF. Five eight FDF. Power arm drink perk rank one. Done ski doodle. Okay. Which means I can now actually wear this Enclave power armor I got, right? Hell yeah, brother! Aw, oh, it doesn't have Tesla. Oh, it does. It does have the Tesla arcs that go around it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So. Fuck, it's 45 pounds. That is. a lot. Also, I can't wear my backpack with that. Also, higher jump, huh? Eh, not really. Okay, I don't think it's worth uh, wearing this stuff, to be honest. I guess I'll keep my winterized riot gear and stuff. Although, 
20 damage tolerance for 30 pounds. 20 for 14. I want, like, I want better armor that's, like, equal or, like, at least somewhat less strong, but, like, doesn't weigh nearly as much, because... Where, where was I? Let me see where's Danny shop. There it is. Danny's got a lot of money. He'll, he'll appreciate some of this Enclave tech. <laughs> then we can turn God Mode off once I sell this stuff. Just because I cannot fucking walk. Hey, Danny. My friend. Hello, friend. What can I... I got some stuff to sell you. My weapons are top notch. Indeed, yes, You'll right. find very few their rival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Danny, you want some Enclave Tesla power armor, my friend? There you go. Have some Enclave engineering helmet, too. Hey, do you want a space suit? Here you are, sir. Okay. Now then, the weaponry. Displacer glove. And the e-blaster was actually kind of cool. The subsonic assault rifle was actually quite shit. Get rid of that. Uh, the HMT nail gun. Actually, the nail gun? I, I, I don't think I've used it yet, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, let's see. We got the multi-pass rifle, which was equally shit. I don't even know why I was holding onto this, to be honest. We got all these plasma grenades. Okay. That's all he can take from me now. So let's look into a stim pack. Miscellaneous. Let's see. Do you have any good... Modifications for my stuff. A Lancer Zapper. Ramshackle upgrade spring. Nope. Alright, what about ammunition? You got any ammunition for me, sir? Let's go down to microfusion cells. We got 9mm, 5mm. I'm just gonna grab everything out of yaz quick. Just to. Ooh, I hit okay there. That sucks. Okay, that's fine. All right, well. Hope I didn't drain your pockets. That Can I repair anything here that's, like, important? The Abyssal Legend is repaired. I guess I can do that. Plasma Slinger wasn't a bad gun. Although it... The rate at which it goes down in, like... Come back again if... Uh, I sell durability. only the finest products on the Frontier. Okay. Okay, so let's, first of all, get rid of this Plasma Slinger. Because uh, it, like I said, goes down way too fast. I'm going to keep this uh, other Typhoon. Because I want to be able to repair it with my Typhoon. We don't need... Actually, that's everything, I think. This gold-plated uh, Magnum Rifle I'm keeping because it's uh, it's an interesting weapon. Uh, let's see. I guess I can get rid of the Battle Rifle now. Yeah. Bye. Let's see, aid. I got some fixer you can take. Nothing else that weighs anything. Miscellaneous, do I have anything that weighs anything? I got a bunch of pre-war money. Not really worth giving it to him right now, though. Okay. Uh, ammunition doesn't matter. Okay. Is there anything else that I want to sell to him right now? I haven't really used the lance much, but, I mean, I don't have a vehicle in space. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, the E-Blaster uses MF cells. That's right. That's why I wasn't using that too often. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and accept that. Another satisfied. Later, Danny. Okay, now we can toggle God Mode off. There we go. All right. Back into the wasteland. Now let's go back to Camp Phoenix. I'm going to drop off some of the extra weapons and stuff that I got here. Run, run, run. I don't want to keep the, uh, the extra Typhoon on me since it does weigh like 10 pounds. But uh, I will keep it in my storage here if I ever need to repair it, which I probably will. Definitely will. That way I don't have to talk to people to be like, hey, repair this for me for like 5,000 caps, please. 
All right. Gun cabinet. So I got my bull shotgun in here and stuff. Okay. Items. Take the e-blaster. Go ahead and... Actually, I can get rid of the laser art. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this, too. Take that. And I think that's all I really need to get rid of at the moment. Let me just search for some other stuff here. Anything else that I can drop for now? Nope. Everything else is fine. Okay. Exit. I'm going to see if I can buy some more stim packs in here from the clinic. And then we will continue onward. Uh, where was the doc? Right here, back here. Yo, doc. Yes, what is it? You, uh, got some stuff that I can sell? This is all I, I can mean? spare. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. I don't like the super stim packs, but I'll take them anyway. Thank you. This guy just, uh, let's just get home myself with these extra stim packs in here in this bobby pin. Thank you. Ba -ba Bye. How many uh, stim packs was that? Was that like 27, I think it said? Yeah, something like that. What, what you, are you after master? now? You got a. This is what I got. You don't have any aid? Well, that sucks. At least I can save some of this money. And uh, this. Where was that? Pre war money, right here. Not a whole lot, but. I can give you some. That'll work. Thank you much. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let me redo my keybinds here real quick before we forget about that. All right. So the typhoons number one, sniper number five, shotgun number four. I think the only thing we need to do is change the magnum plated rifle to be number three. The thermic lance is there. The SWAT shotgun's four. Missile Edge is six. Okay. We're good. We are Gucci. Hey. Nice plasma caster. That's, that's, no, that's not what it was called. Uh, I forget what it was called. It doesn't matter. Also, I like how uh, everyone has, like, new guns now. At least some of them do. Like, this guy has that plasma spinner up thingy on it. Anyway. Um data quests so there was a radio here question mark I said to repair a radio at the camp right so apparently not apparently they're all over the place okay what other quests do we have here he believed in the NCR meet gray at the recognize what gray which one's gray isn't gray dead now I think Gray's dead. Yeah, I think Gray was one of the guys who was uh, on the mission with us and ended up just dying. Let's see. Search for Witch's Eye and Serpent's Flower. That was not important. Do networks task. I think I can't do that because of uh, one of them dying. Uh, Slaver Trouble. Investigate the Pulsar, which is way the fuck over there. Um, what else we got? Go to the Portland Library and find the rare Mormon book. Let's do that real quick. Hmm? It's in a, an area we've been kind of relative to. Only you can prevent corporate espionage. Lock your cabinets. Alright, where the fuck am I at? Alright, this is that one area that we... Uh, Rampaged through and the scavs tried to kick our butts. Okay, so I need to go this way. Nope, that's not all. Okay, so over here. I'm gonna unequip my. There we go, and me. Man, I miss my, uh, my tank. Wherever it is, I hope it's doing okay and not being looted by scavs. That would be most unfortunate.
Maybe I'll uh, go with my covert rifle for right now. Who that? Yeah, that's a scav, as I thought. Got him! He saw me and was like, oh! And I was like, no. None of that. Another one there, but I just missed taking off his head. Oh, there's a bunch more to the right, too. That's excellent. Let me back up a smidge here. Got him. And got him. Oh, apparently not. Apparently I whiffed that and missed his head. Be a little bit better if the uh, scope was not night vision. Damn it! Stop missing. Okay, and there was one more on the right here, or on the left. I can direction. Ah, can't shoot through that, really. Oh, there we are. Ooh, right in the back of the head. You love to see it. I think I'm pretty good. Oh, I am not good on ammo, actually. Uh, that's actually quite bad. I don't have much covert ammo. Well, I suppose I only fired five at a time, so... It's okay. Alright, I'm going to head that way. Is that the building? It looks kind of library-ish. Swing around this way. We're not that close, are we? Yeah, it's this building, I think. Yep. Ooh. That dog did not know what was going to him. I guess it's a wolf, really, but either way. Ah, lovely Wendigos. My favorite thing. What do you mean, danger? He's not even coming towards me. Well, either way. Covert rifle's not going to do much to him. Can't get in that way. Well... Yeah, I remember why I love these guys so much now. All right, let's try number three. Golden gum, bitch. Oh, baby. Is that the entrance? That's the entrance. Okay. All right. Uh, in the library we go. This looks kind of Legion-esque. Cannibalesque. Okay, well. Is that a glowing note? The Thorn of Saint Archaic Display. Action needed. Broken terminal. Nope, can't repair that. Okay. So what was that? We've got 50 letters from angry mothers about the Thorn of Saint uh, Adric Display. They took... Wait. They took umbrage with the vis visible bloodstain on the dagger's blade. And the tale of how Squires of the Rose assassin was incinerated by a lightning bolt after fleeing from the chapel where he murdered Saint Ardric. 
That said, the Friends of Portland Library has held a meeting and decided it was not in the spirit of Christmas to keep it on display. The shame, too, as displaying a cursed object brought many visitors looking for a Halloween scare. Even the reporter from the Portland Gazette seemed intrigued. So here's the deal. I want you to put a whole display back in the secret room. Out of sight, out of mind, as they say. We still have it on loan from the museum until New Year's, so maybe we can put it back out when this heat dies down. Thanks, Nick. Okay, so there's a hidden book or something here? In a hidden room? Don't know why a library has a hidden room, but I will take it. Oh god, look at all these pre-war books. If only this was uh, Fallout 3, where you can like turn those in for like caps at the Brotherhood Citadel. Making friends and influencing people. I don't know why I picked that up, but it was named, so I took it. Oh man, I'll be say if I could take all of these books. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. I don't think I'm going to find much interesting that's not, like, an obvious thing, like the glowing book or the book that had, like, a different cover on it. Hmm. But I do kind of want to just sweep through all the, the rows here. Clipboards. Hmm, 10 millimeter rounds. Interesting. Okay. It's quiet. Too quiet. Boxing and wrestling for beginners. On sneaking and thievery. A small scorched book. Oh, it was hiding in the shelves. I was like, huh? That looks weird, weird. Bunch of whiskey. What's that? Just a folder. And there's just a random ass piano here. I'm curious, do these books that I'm picking up do anything? Oh, they're not there, so they're actually items? Are they aid books? Oh, they don't weigh anything, so I might as well pick them up. Some of them might want them. A missile. Okay, odd place for that, but I'll take it. Coyote, oh. Yeah, I don't like this. Another book. Proper handling and converse, uh, conversion. Con conversation of firearms? I don't know why I had a hard time reading that. We got Power Armor Combat Manual. Wait, is that something I can actually use? So I'm going to assume that Power Armor Combat Manual, if I would have actually used that before cheating in the perk, I would have actually learned how to use Power Armor there. So I'd say... Easy. He doesn't look like he is here to harm us. Uh -oh. Perhaps some poor soul struck with similar bad fortune. So, stranger, what are you doing here? If you're wrong about the no harm part, yeah, I'm plaguing. Who are you? I'm Elian, and this is Morgaus and Percy. You could say we have become the keepers of this old world treasure. You said you had bad fortune? What do you mean? I suppose there's no harm in reliving it for a few moments. It might sound <laughs> hopelessly romantic. She went missing during our exodus to a bunker called Hidden Valley, in a place far south from here. Hey, Axel. Soon I learned that an evil man had abducted her and was doing who knows what to her. My mind can only imagine. He was seen as a dignified man in our community, but beneath his well-practiced smiles beats the heart of a tyrant. Both he and she disappeared for months, so I gathered a party to hunt him down and rescue her. Rumor stated he fled north, so we followed. Seasons came and went, and so a hellish winter set upon us. We became trapped in the mountains. Not all of us survived. Broken and near death, we settled here. Seldom does anyone visit this place after we purged it of some cannibals. Just us. Books in the damn cold. 
If you meet a Charlene from the Brotherhood, please tell her I'm still looking for her. I know it's unlikely, but it's all that keeps me going. Yeah, I remember Yaxel. I think I remember uh, Shadow and Draco mentioning that. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Let's see. So you're Brotherhood, then? Us. Brotherhood of Steel. <sighs> we were long ago. Given the NCR have crept this far north, I doubt the Brotherhood of Steel exists anymore. Like this library. We are just monuments to a culture long to... Okay. I'm leaving. Tough luck with your girlfriend, pal. Wouldn't be the first Wasteland sobs I've heard. A group of ex-Brotherhood in the frontier, they sent me here. Really? How many? Is there a Charlene Yang with them? <sighs> Sorry for the outburst. I got a little carried away. I know it might be a little forward, but can you find out if they know of a Charlene Yong? Please. I'm like 100% certain that his girlfriend did not get abducted, but she just decided to, uh, what's that word? Uh, fuck. Leave? Like, I can't think of the proper word. For elope. Yeah. Pretty sure they, uh, they decided to elope uh, and just kind of cuck this guy. Yeah, I've been streaming this for a while. This is the uh, the Frontier mod for New Vegas. So, completely different from New Vegas. Takes place in Portland, Oregon. Uh, so, uh, I think they're still working on getting the mod, like, re-released. It was released for a while, then some drama happened. They pulled it, um, so you can't get it anymore. Because I think there was a... I think one of the developers included a uh, copyrighted, uh, like, pentagram circle from Doom in it or something. So they had to, like, remove that and change some other things because of some other stuff that came up. But luckily, I got it before it was pulled, so I'm playing it. So. I'm sick. I'm afraid the journey in this weather may be fatal. From the books in here, I believe it's because I left a sore throat go on too long. If I meet her, I'll tell you you're looking for her. That's all I ask of you. Thanks. Um, he did say something about, like, two other people. What, uh, what? I don't see any more people here, man. Are you, uh, you losing your mind? Wouldn't surprise me to be completely honest. Unless they're further back, just kind of hiding here. How'd I come up with my logo? Well, it's a Lynx paw. And I like links, so I was like, I'll make that, and then I'll just put PS for Plague and Shiki on it. And uh, I just kind of was like, let's just put like a uh, old like nightly sigil thing kind of behind it to give the logo, and that's that. It's nothing like crazy preordained weirdness or anything like that. So Autumn Leaves, the novel. Hmm. Yes. Very good. Oh, here these people are. Percival. It ain't an easy life. He didn't have anything to say. Sure beats crawling around a bunker. Ooh, can I use this to make some days the oil and nah. metal smell used to turn my guts. Another day in this desolate place. place. Nope. Thankfully, we say. can escape for a little while into one of these books. I'm really starting to like Mark Twain. Let's see. You guys got anything good up here I can loot? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, what's this door? Library maintenance. Hmm. 38 special. This is where their beds are. There's a lot of beds for not a lot of people here. Seems some sketchy stuff might have happened. Alright. There's flowers. Okay. As one does. Let's take a look down here then. There's a door up here we can look at later, but... Ow! Of course, right into the fire. Why would I not land there, of all places? <laughs> Terminal's broken. Nothing else catching my eye at the moment. Are these like little study corners, kind of? Nope, they're just filing cabinets for like old records, maybe? Okay. What's this way? Library vault, huh? Ooh, uh, 
Oh, plasma mine. I was not expecting that to be here. What's in the desk? Nothing. These are kind of like little study areas then. Security terminal, hard. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Lobotomized? Hmm. Categorized. Hmm. Overpowered. I figured it ended in ED. Easy way to rule all that out. Okay. Notice and security keep change. I'm in charge. Rumors. Oberlin. Congratulations. Security lock and procedures. Minute of attacks following action will be taken. Essential library personnel, such as that librarian, have immediately entered the vault and remain inside until the secure situation is resolved. Security team will take care of yada yada yada. All security officers must memorize these procedures. Bergen. Do something stupid. Yes, I know. Yada 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 yada. Rumors? Okay. Festus has been hearing some ideas that have been floating around the security team, ideas that no one should be getting. So I'm going to let you know straight the message instead of you taking out back and braining you for being such an idiot. First, yes, it's a crime has gone higher under me and Festivus, and no, we aren't creating crime. Okay, just weird pre-war drama. Okay, so into the vault then. Okay. Interesting. Oh no, that's not great. Well, I'll be quick then. What's this? Honors of the Fallen. Huh? Did I do anything? No. Ah! Stay away, you little shit! Goddamn irradiated, like, things. Recon armor. What do we got here? Victory scorched. Oh, geez. There's a lot of stuff there, huh? Bottles, addicts notes. Okay, okay. Goddamn. Actually, I might as well drink these two. Oh no, I forgot that one was night vision. Damn it. Keep the book. A bunch of bottle caps. hurts. Why? Why did they make night vision blue? Broken power armor. Broken recon armor. Librarian security team. Okay. Put the bookshelf. Nothing special there. Bunch of bottle caps. Seriously, you stupid, like, radiated thing. Fuck off. Nothing else there. I already searched this table, right? Yep. I think that's everything, then. You're lucky I can't kill you. search all three of these? Hmm, I did. Okay. Well, there's nothing special in this vault. Just broken power armor. Take some right away. Other nuka cola heal my wounds. Okay, well. One pathway done. Is this another exit? It is. Oh, the Hall of Authors, huh? Okay. I hope this wears off soon. Well. 
I'm gonna take some of these new coals, alright, y'all? Okay. Maybe it's in library maintenance. Guess it's a bit better with my light on. Ah, oh, fuck, another rad ghost. From security team. Ghost. Any weapon repair kit, I'll take that. Paint gun. Sledgehammer. Oh, there's nothing in here either. I guess we're going to the uh actually wait right back here. Look at this at all? Blue shelf? Okay. Well, take some Nuka Cola then. Let me, uh, local map? Okay. So it was a hidden area of the library. I wonder if I'd be able to see it on the mini map? Well, my quest markers. I guess I could have just followed the quest marker to begin with to figure out where the hell I'm going. But apparently, it's in the Hall of Arthurs. Oh, I don't see a rad ghost in here, which is nice. Oops, I did not mean to take that. Scientific pursuits. Hmm. Locks and security over the years. Hmm. I don't know what these named books are for or if they're for anything at all, but might as well take them. Robert House. Ah, as in Mr. House. Okay. The Book of Common Prayer, the Daily Missal, and the LDS Psalm, blah, blah. Early American Religious Texts. They're copies of various pre 20th century American religious texts on loan for private collections. Okay. Boxton Vale Survival Guide. Hmm. Return to Quintus, okay. Pre war book, pre war book. William Shakespeare, yada yada. HP Lovecraft. I'm surprised they didn't do something here special for it. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well. I'll go ahead and skedaddle then. Oop, got stuck. Alright, book's been obtained. Let's return back to the uh, Brotherhood folk. The exiles, or they call themselves. World map. Can't fast travel enemies nearby. What's nearby? I'm hidden. Also, there's like snipers on the rooftops or something. 
Hello? Anyone out there? Anyone want to kill little old me? Okay, now I can. It must have been around the other side of the building or something, and I just couldn't do it for some reason. Oh, thank God. Oh, I heard something happen, though. Have you found the book? Here it is. Wow. That's a rare one indeed. Looks to have been bound in the 19th century. Hell, it's probably the only copy left in existence. I'll bet the Dominion herself would want to see that. Give me a second, I'll radio in, and have Castell and Clements meet you at the entrance. He'll escort you to see the Dominion. I'm sure she will take great satisfaction in receiving this book, and meeting the person who found it. Castellan, you're not going to believe this, but there's an outsider. One sec. Return to Quintance. Huh? Who's this? Here with a 19th century psalmody in their possession. I'm sending them inside now. Cue that. Wait, is that? Wait, that's way up in the Legion area. What? Huh. Okay. Well, let's say hi to the... Uh, what do they call themselves? The Crusaders or something? <laughs> Hello? Ah. You must be the outsider Warden Howell mentioned. Welcome to the Tower. Our little fortress in this swath of the wasteland. I'm Castellan Clemens. I will be your escort during your visit to the tower. Do you have any questions before we take your find to the Domina? Uh, what's a uh, Castellan? In a nutshell, I'm the person who acts on behalf of the Domina. I oversee visitors, low-level internal issues, and the garrison here at the tower. I am also the administrator responsible All for right, maintaining the armory and protecting the tower, as well as the Abernathy Cantonment. So you're a butler in power armor. Okay, thanks for the answer. Very. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Why are you guys here? Well, I think that is more the Domino's purview to answer that question. I will give you some broad strokes of our mission. Our goal is to retake the great cities of the past from the grip of the unworthy. Raiders, the Legion, the Enclave or any other wasteland tyrants. Portland, or rather the frontier, is not high on the list of our cities to retake. However, the Domina is here for personal reasons. The tower was a fortuitous find, as it is filled with protectrons, terminals, and other electronics we can use to repair our equipment. Not to mention a protective force field around the entrance and a few other delightful discoveries. The Brotherhood would kill to have this place. Of the many rumors about House spread across the Mojave, I can confirm that he's a mechanical maestro like no other. Robco Tower seems to have been his fortress in the pre-war northwestern United States. I probably should stop here as the Domina is waiting. We'd better get moving. All right, no more questions. All right, then. Follow... Jesse. If you're good. Nope. ever been she to Utah, talk. it's beautiful this time. Ooh, is that an ED robot? That's nice. Alright, door to stairs. Is that a purple plasma rifle thing? Interesting. You like my golden magnum, though? It's a little faded from years of use, but you know. The round table. Oh boy. I like how they leave the Robco rugs and stuff. That's nice of them. I thought those were like chess pieces for a second. Eight was my slow walk. Well, 
Welcome to the tower. To the round table. Greetings, my lady. It is my honor to present to you the stranger who found the rare Mormon Saul Moody. Please, take a seat with us. Okay. Molly. Hey, it's that one girl. Okay. I want to sit next Lord, to you. Thank you for another day. And thank you for those gathered at this table. That thy blessings continue to bring us courage, prosperity, and strength. Welcome, stranger, to the tower, and more importantly, to our round table. As its name suggests, it has no head, for all who sit here have equal voice. For I view all men equal under the Lord, and that a man is most honest among his peers. With that said, I'm Damina Weaver, leader of the Crusade. You are familiar with Castellan Clements already. So, ladies, if you would be so kind as to introduce yourselves. I'm Charlene Young, Seneschal and head of the Sophers. The root word is Sophia, Greek for knowledge. One could say we're akin to doctors or scholars. We research into all known biomedical sciences, including genetics and old world pharmaceuticals. Perhaps most paramount is that we are all female. Here we go. Brigham Young taught that women should stand behind the counter, study law or medicine, for the benefit of society. I am paraphrasing, of course. Put some extra salt in that crock of shit before you try to serve it, Charlene. It might go down a little easier. Must you really, Molly? Have you no respect for the sanctity of this table or our ways? I apologize. Equal voice, remember, Charlene? I really wish you would stop trying to force your bullshit codes on the younger girls and tout it like it's gospel. As a matter of fact, Molly, it might be regarded as gospel. You really believe that stupid shit? Jesus. Elijah must have fucked with your brains more than I thought. How dare you? Enough! I apologize for our sudden derailment. We will address this later, both of you. Now then, this is Molly our chief mechanic and tech wizard. Now, if you will, please tell us how you came into possession of such a rare artifact. So your guy told me to go find it, and I found it? That's about all. Found it in the library. Good thing books are like bug repellent. Two dumbass scams. Yeah. So this Found relic managed to survive the apocalypse in a public library? If anything, test to it being a sacred text, that sure does. May I have it? Here you go. Thank you. You have no idea how precious this is to us, <laughs> to our cause. Another torch with which to bring the world out of the darkness. Now then, because of your deed, I grant you full access to the tower and membership in our order. Before the ceremony, do you have any questions? Full access to the tower? Huh? Full access? Wait, why is this even a thing? Why is this an option? I heard you were at the Battle of Helios 1. This is true. I was there on that godforsaken day. Wraiths of the battle still haunt me. Cannons. Death screams. The stink of death. All of it. I nearly died there, entombed in broken power armor. Rivulets of my blood ran from the joints onto the parched earth. My pride was as broken as my body. But death did not come. As the crows circled above and the sun threatened, I managed to get free and crawl on my belly to a safe patch of grass. Tended my wounds, watching the NCR rejoice. I should have died given the amount of blood loss, but it seems God had other plans. I found a duffel bag under a Joshua tree, containing medical supplies and some clean water. I hid there the whole day convalescing. At dusk, I jammed a medex in my leg and tossed my hollow tags in with a pile of others. I was too ashamed to return to the Brotherhood, so I left the Mojave for a new beginning elsewhere. Eventually, I bought a set of T-45 from a merchant. It didn't seem right for him to have it, and found new Canaan. It was there I was chosen by heaven, crowned by God to become his judge, the protector of his people on Earth. 
You could say I've become a paladin now in the truest sense. Why not return to Brotherhood? <laughs> For what purpose? To become a relic hunter? To worship idols of the old world? They believe they're the only ones with a right to it. How misguided. We are all God's children, and thus our duty is to provide basic human rights to everyone. A right to freedom. A right to life. A right to serenity. My mission now is to restore those rights. To rebuild the grand old world cities. It can be done. Shady Sands, New Canaan. It just requires the will. Okay, Blackthorn, I guess? I do. Looks are deceiving. The NCR is a poorly trained ragtag lot whose only true strength is number. Besides, I have God on my side. He blesses us. On our journey to the frontier, we came across an untouched military armory in Idaho. It had been stocked with prototype equipment, water, and MREs. All of our current equipment is from there. Chance? Luck? Neither. The provisions were given as a sign from the Lord. Of course. He wants us to save his creation. I saw him order the execution of his wounded men. What kind of man does that? The Lord says, vengeance is mine, I shall repay. I'm his sword, swift and dauntless. Blackthorn will answer for his crimes against humanity. His crimes against the Brotherhood. Against those innocent fallen soldiers. No more questions at the moment. Very well. We will begin the adubemon. Step this way, please. Right in front of me. The aboundment? God damn, though. Her ass looks fucking nice in those pants. Okay. Praise be to the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. By his name do I ask of you this solemn vow. To strive for justice, to banish all evil from our land, and to vanquish all tyranny attempting to ensnare our world. This is my cause. What say you? They uh, they totally did not expect me to be on the same side of the table as her. They totally expect me to be like across the table from her, so I walked up closer to her here. <laughs> I swear. Very well. By the powers vested in me by the Lord, I grant you the station of man at arms and entrance into our sacred order. Accept these gifts. As promised, you now have full access to the tower. The pass card will disable the force fields so you may come and go as you please. As a new member, I present you with these garments and a sidearm. Your food rations can be collected from the trunk in the R&D floor cafeteria. My last request is that as a member of our order, you help the others around here in their time of need. With that said, this meeting is over. Junior Crusaders increase your damage against those who wish harm to their fellow humans. You know, 10% more against evil characters. Ah, cool. You have a sub reputation with the Crusaders. As your reputation increases, members will become more comfortable with you and might open up to you a little bit more about themselves, trust you with vital quests, and give you better equipment. Okay. Whoa, 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 careful with that. Hey. Hello you? again. How may I be of assistance to you? Yo, I found this, uh, wait. Something seems strange about a medical lab in a robotics technology building. This advanced medical research lab was abandoned prior to the war. Odd enough for a robotics company to be involved in such an undertaking. But this is only a soup con of the strangeness. It seems that someone tried to ransack the place, but settled for smashing all the terminals and burned them along with all the research logs in the central room. Someone didn't want whatever was going on up here to be noticed or discovered. Perhaps a revelation they felt impeded upon the works of God. Perhaps something as terrible as learning to split the atom. My mind churns with the possibilities. For the more my sofers investigate, the more secrets this seemingly innocuous building harbors. We're attempting to piece together the purpose of research done here, but all that's left is evidence of cryogenic experiments on canines, some of which are still frozen in stasis pods. Feel free to look around, but do be careful in the main laboratory. A power surge caused the robotic dissection suites to reactivate, and we currently can't find the means to shut them down. Okay. 
Oh, let's see. I keep hearing mention about brain damage or surgery. Did something happen to you? I wasn't always this dour. Once, I was a brilliant, vivacious young scribe. Not as fervid as Molly, mind you. Father Elijah changed all that. After the Battle of Helios I, I was wounded by a rad scorpion as we fled towards our new bunker. I began to bleed out, but then Elijah found me. I'd always looked upon him like a grandfather. He seemed particularly taken with me and another girl, Veronica. He stopped the venom and my bleeding. As he carried me away, I believed the darkest moment in my life had passed. How naive I was then. While he repaired my body, Elijah had other designs for my brain. Specifically for my pineal gland. The dark truth of his fondness revealed itself. Apparently, he'd taken a fondness to me because of my gift. And wanted to enhance it cybernetically. The surgery was horrific without anesthesia. I don't know how many days had passed. Only that it was several surgeries later. He grew frustrated with the process and stitched me up mid-operation. He raved about not having the proper tech, but that he knew where to find it. Elijah abandoned me. I awoke in a shack on the outskirts of Freeside. I never heard from him again. The last round of surgery damaged me. My amygdala, specifically. In short, I have trouble processing emotions, particularly happiness and anger. I've worked with the Domina and Clements to restore them, but it's like trying to regrow an arm. You eventually learn to adapt. Perhaps one day God will answer that prayer. What is your gift? As a teen, I discovered I could uh, know things via nasty shocks of electricity. I owe my impulsivity to fix an old terminal for the revelation. Tasha believes the ability is a gift from God? Something about biblical prophets having similar powers. Me? I have a more mundane explanation. Pretty sure, being a scribe, my mother was exposed to some FEV residue, or heavy radiation, from old pieces of tech before she knew she was pregnant. A lot of babies in my bunker had birth defects around the time I was born. So, put two and two together. So you're like a psychic? It's more like visions of what another person around me is feeling. It works both ways. With enough concentration, I can make another feel a certain way. You can imagine why Elijah wanted to save me. What a mass-scale weaponized version of my power would do to the NCR morale? Nightmarish, indeed. I met a man named... Lya... Uh, I Island? I don't know. He said he came to the frontier looking for... Uh, fairing with the brother to steal? Elian? I... Um... Thank you. But... Please, don't press this any further. She said don't press it. Why can't I just drop it? Don't you understand? I am done with the Brotherhood. It's a painful path. Look at that. You pride of heart. Oh. Yada yada yada. Just tell Elian I'm dead. That it was just a fling. Just any. Take this. Hmm. Why are these options? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, she's like, nope, I don't give a fuck. Fuck that guy. Okay. It's a pleasure to see you again. Um, what about the Legion? God has spoken, and this is the verdict. The light has come into the world, but men love... The sins of the old world have left a stain that has infected the hearts of men. Shh. The Legion are the living embodiment of that stain. 
Yet even I am that light. Okay. Goodbye. Hey Molly, you seem like a sane person. Uh, what's up? Hey newbie, what can I do for you? Uh, let's see. It's your Molly, right? That's me, Molly Callaghan, chief engineer and technology wizard. I oversee the repair of our power armor and other gear, along with inventing new tech. Now this goddamn Rob Code joint is a gold mine of technology. I would have killed to work here if I was an old worlder. This is my library of Alexandra. Wait a minute, the NCR. I don't. She doesn't think about the NCR. Okay, that's fair. Ha! If that half-ass interpretation of Brigham Young wasn't enough of a clue, I'd call it the Brotherhood exegesis of Mormonism. Just a shallow imitation, getting more injections from the Codex with each passing year. If you want to meet real Mormons, you'll need to hike to Utah. Um, this one? That's goddamn Charlene for you. She takes this shit way too seriously. Equal means equal, or am I fucking stupid? Women don't need special jobs. Being a woman doesn't define me. Being the best fucking mechanic in the waste does. It might be a sin, but say the devil walked through those doors. If he challenged me to a fixing duel, he'd walk away crying, redder than a smacked ass for being dumb enough to fuck with old Molly in her workshop. Okay, can you fix my gear? I don't give a rat's ass if it's pre-war or made yesterday. If it it's broke, I can fix it. Does she max it out? Oh, she does. Very nice. A dual fission blaster? Huh? A crusader salad visor? Crusader at arms. Norica? Okay. Well, I'm good. Thank you. Later, Molly. All right. Yeah, Molly seems really sane compared to everyone else so far. <laughs> She's like, I want to fix things. That's all I want to do. Let's see. 25 pounds and 15 armor. Ugh. What's it look like, at least? It looks like shit. Of course it does. And the visor also looks like shit. Oh my god, I look like that one uh, Rainbow Six character. Tonka or something like that. So the T, I remember that. Wow, look at look at this scrub guy. Ugh, if really would have put the helmet down, it might be cooler. But nah, I think I'll uh, I'll just chill with this. All right. So we talked to them. If you meet this Charlene, tell her about this guy. Okay. Well, I did. So. I guess I can go back to him and tell him to fuck off. Who are you? Oh! Uh, hey! I, um, I totally wasn't spying on you. Nope! Heh <laughs> Just wanted to talk to the Domina about, uh, you know, um, stuff. Is that right? Well, who are you, kid? Tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm America. You could say I started being a sofer, but it was boring science crap. So now I'm just kind of here. Trying to find my path. <laughs> but don't tell Charlene. She's pretty scary despite the whole cultish lobotomy thing. So you don't want to be a crusader? Are you not allowed to leave? Shh! Not so loud! No, no, it's nothing like that. It's... it's a personal thing. But I guess talking about it won't hurt. Right? You never know. I'm... was... Midwestern Brotherhood. I was kicked out when they discovered I was a mutant. I believe freak of nature is what the Elder yelled at me. They should have known! I mean, how many Asian girls have bonny red hair? But my mutation is a little different from that. It's not like a ghoul, super mutant, or Charlene's empathic powers. This is a disease old world humans had. Congenital analgesia. I can't feel pain. So yeah, my mom hit it pretty well, until I was like 15 and broke my hand doing scribe stuff. I dropped an engine block on it and didn't even yelp. Nothing freaked people out more than seeing a teenage girl with her left hand flapping in the wind and smiling like nothing happened. It was gross. Everything changed. 
My dad seemed really sad, heartbroken. The next day, my parents and I walked out into the Dust Bowl to get a fallen satellite. <laughs> Get real, you worthless bitch. Wow! That's fucked up. I would have left you too, freak. Goddamn. Sorry. They... <laughs> they just left me there. I cried for my mom, but she wouldn't even turn around to look at me. They just kept walking. After they were out of view, I tried to follow their footsteps in the dirt, Hoping to find them. But the Dust Bowl is huge. 15, you're 15, what? A black blizzard was coming. So I hid in an old bus stop until it passed. I. I never found them again. <laughs> what? I headed west and eventually wandered into a supermart. Looking for food. I was in bad shape, but had no idea. Molly found me while she was ripping apart the coolers for spare parts. It was like a sign. Another Asian girl with red hair. Molly gave me some water and a fancy lad, and walked me back to the Crusader camp nearby. You sound doubtful. We are all children of God is what the Domina says, and I know that she loves me. And I tried being a sofa like my friends, but I just didn't like it. A total snooze fest. Charlene was pissed. It got bad around here for a few days. All women should be sofers, Charlene said at the round table meeting. Molly told her she was an old fogey and to stick it square up her ass. <laughs> Funny, because I think Charlene is like five years older than Molly at most. All that aside, deep down, I believe I might get left again. You know? Just one little mess up and, well. Maybe she should, like, I don't know, get over herself. <laughs> I don't know. Hey! Oh, oh your name's not Sofer. You're just a Sofer. Damn, this that makes sense. Okay. Context. Hey, buddy, you're not typing. Damn, it's freezing today. You good, man? I know, it's really hard to grab that speck of dust with those power armor gauntlets, ain't it? Bye. Talk to Molly about what just happened with America. I'm assuming Molly's still in here. You're Molly. Hey, newbie. What can I do for you? I met this teen America. She told me her story and ran off in tears, but she mentioned you by name. This again, eh? Poor kid. Her parents must have been total assholes to do that to her. Come on, let's go put a cap on this before it gets any worse. I mean, we could just leave her alone. Also, weird that, like, at 15 years old, she managed to get abandoned by her parents? Like, what? They all went to the Dust Bowl, and then her parents just started walking away and she just didn't follow them? Is that what I got? Or were they like, they had her do something and then like, she got distracted and tried to uh, follow but couldn't because of that stuff, I don't know. Also, nice ass. Throw it out there. Very nice. But. Seems odd. Wow. No. I found this doll in a trash bin. She's perfectly okay. She was just lying there, wanting someone to find her and love her. I call her Lily. If I ever have a baby girl, I'm going to call her Lily too. That was the name of the nice old lady that gave me sweet rolls in my old bunker. Hey, America. The newbie here tells me you got upset in the hall. You were talking about your folks again, huh? Yeah. Bad memories. And, well... Come on, America. Talk to me, sweetheart. You don't think 
that I'm garbage. Right, Molly? I mean, you wouldn't leave me, right? Never. I swear on my heart and my favorite wrench. You know how much I love that old thing. But you know what? I love you even more. Understand? I guess. I mean, I love you, Molly. That's why I'm so scared to be kicked out again. I love you too. And you're not useless. In fact, I have a job for you. See this old hollow disc? I picked it up at that old Air Force base we visited. It has an awesome prototype weapon on it, but I need to print the blueprints to build it. Now, this place doesn't have a printer, so I need someone to find one and print it out for me. So, how about you and the newbie hunt down a printer? I really need it, and everyone will appreciate it. Cool. I I'll do it. Thanks for cheering me up, Molly. So, let's get to finding this printer. Stay out of trouble, and come back safe, kid. So, here's the disc. My friend Clara, a sofer in the camp, talked about this goofy print shop sign she saw called the Black Yak. We could start there. Americans give me the, uh, Anna Gelzik Adventurer perk, which is... Enemies are a bit shaken by America's seemingly inability to feel pain, meaning they are 20% likely to get a critical hit on you. Nice. Interesting. Lord Death. You gain damage bonus against everything because you like killing everything. Ah, uh, I love that perk. It's so adorable. God bless America. Okay. Forging the Sword of Laban? Oh. That ties into these. Okay. Travels America in the frontier. Okay. Oh, let's go get this America. Uh, you're right. I was RP walking. I forgot. <laughs> is this just like an oil slick or is that blood? It looks a little bit reddish to me. Captain America? Okay. Actually, hold on. Oh, hello there. Microfusion cells. Stim pack. Man, if everyone's got stim packs. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, they don't have any stim packs. Tramp so far. Yoink, yoink. And yoink. Nice, nice, nice. Are these sleeping bags? Hey, it's for America. <laughs> God damn it. It is! Okay. So that's the way to the stairs. There's also an elevator here, which is broken, but it looks like it can be repaired. You should give Jesse some time to finish repairs. Maybe Quartermaster Lomar can help her get the parts she needs. Or I can just repair myself, because I'm amazing. Right? Do it. So are these just all bedrooms? Looks like it. Okay. Find Quartermaster Lamar. Also, I like how I'm just like coming up with these people's names in my head. Without having like being introduced to any of them before, you know. Welcome to the Tower Stairs. As long as you're a Crusader, you'll never have to worry about leg day again. That's for sure. Oh. Rocco Tower Laundry. This is an astringent chemical stink infused behind the doors. Most likely, the tower's chemical waste disposal system deteriorated and leaked into this floor. Better leave it be. Perhaps if you had a CEVA suit, you could safely enter this hazardous area. I don't know what that is, but I will uh, grab it. The R&D labs. Oh my god. There's so much stuff in this tower. And it is a tower, so I mean, it makes sense. Clipboard. There's the man at arms. Here's the normal crusader. Oh my golly, gee willikers. Tales of chivalry. We got Portland Exclave Militia. Rocket launch facilities, Intel reports, Intel reports. Pretty sure they're not automated, so I'm gonna have to read them if I wanted to do it. Let's see, we got a dual fission blaster. Oh, a couple of them. All these are, these are RPWs, cool. Cool. 
Putrid Horde report. Illicit organ trafficking operation. America, Unknown subterranean what structure. Have I told you about defacing equipment. What is that all over your sidearm? What? I made it look cool. You can do whatever you want to your dopey light sword thing. So why can't I cool it by my gun? Uh, unsanctioned modifications can render a weapon useless in the field. That coolifying could get you hurt or killed. Think America, please. Nah, the mods are fine. Molly gave it the A-OK. -okay. She even complimented my artistic talents. <sighs> I guess I'm not winning this one today. Fine. But you now take all responsibility for any malfunctions with that sidearm. Are we clear? Totally, Grandpa Clements. <laughs> Grandpa Clements. <sighs> Good to see you again. Is it? Um. I think the NCR. What more do you say about the people that killed your family, other than they disgust me? My sixteen. I mean, why was she at the Battle of Helios, sure. though? That's weird, right? Hey, Quartermaster. Welcome, young blood. I um. Oh, hey, can we get? Stuff, get the stuff fixed. <laughs> Young folk always in a hurry. But these old bones could do. Bring me the stuff. I gotta actually get the stuff Welcome myself. You're the goddamn quartermaster. I'd like to buy. It's all been squared okay. away. Pop the game crash for a second there. like trophies by the mechanics. Take a look. Let's see the laser PDW. Uh, has a compass showing the nearest enemy. Oh, that's pretty poggers, right? We got the dual fission blasters, the modified plasma rifle, the photon storm SMG. Excuse me? Also, the scouting laser rifle? Is that like a sniper? That's kind of cool. Let's see, the dual fission blaster. I'm gonna get rid of that. And this bottle cap mine that I got. Take this armor. What do you got for armor? <gasps> a cape? I can wear a cape? Oh my god. Bruh. Let me, let me just get one of those, please. Energy weapon overclocking kit. Overclock's current weapon. What's that do for me, though? I want to take it. Let's see. 44 grip, 55. Ugh, miscellaneous stuff here. Harpoon gun, prod, laser rifle... Splitter, a Martian Slayer poison bottle? Okay, scripture, steam gauge assembly, nothing too important. Uh, a bunch of random ammunition. Okay. Alright, I'll go ahead and accept that trade. Actually, thinking back on it, I think I have some other stuff to sell you. Such as this ashtray and this book of common prayer. Coffee mug. This daily missile, some duct tape, Coca Cola bottles, that stuff, cigarettes that I picked up for some reason, a paint gun, which apparently was trash, pre war book. Here's a bunch of pre war money, my man. I don't know where I got the shot glass from. Tin can. Alright, alright. Any stories to tell? Huh. I'd love to talk your ear off with my old man stories, but I got work to do before my arthritis kicks in. Right, bye. I'm surprised that lock held up this long. Industrial fuses, motor oils, and ten pieces of scrap metal. Lovely. All right. Cape. Oh, it took place with my backpack. Man. Of course it does. Couldn't just wear the cape under or over it. I really don't want to lose out on uh, 25 pounds, so. Hey, bud. Welcome, young blood. I was going to like squared to do away. Unfunked and polished like trophies by the mechanics. That. Take a look. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. What else we got in the R&D floor? Research area. Man at arms. Power armor mechanic. Sure is cold here. Ooh. Okay. Glad we're only staying for a brief while. Programmers digest. 
the fuck are these? Conductors. Energy overclocking kit, I'll take that. Overclocking kit success. Well, the fire teams finally got the last of the overclocking kits finished and shipped to the Sorter Master distribution. These little fuckers are plug and play cans. Whoop ass. Remember, overclocking is like buff out for your energy weapon. It'll give you a burst of damage increase, but it ain't good in the long run. Each kit will only give you a single amped up shot to prevent damage to your weapon. Take that as a warning. I don't want to hear any bitching about melted wires, fractured hammer fire lenses. In no circumstances should you send Wendell my way. I'm not making a laser chainsaw katana for him. Period. He needs to stop reading all those damn comics. Okay. Well, that's a lot less cool than I thought it was going to be. Oh, hello, I bought. And someone's been researching Securitrons. Electrical boxes. Some scrap metal. Any fuses, do you think? Just some industrial fuses lying around? No? Oh, looky looky. Oh, protectron, energy cells, okay. I'm not going to search them all, but... Anything I can interact with here to, like, I don't know, do something with, maybe? Looks like no. That terminal's broken as shit. How much are we? Three? It's just someone's bedroom. Central module. Ooh, industrial fuses. Scrap electronics, scrap electronics. Uh, scrap electronics. Okay. Restraint collars. Added at arms. A welding mask. Common parts bin. Oh, I thought America was someone else. Service elevator, Robco testing vault. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, power armor. Interesting, seeing it rigged up like that. Blank hollow tapes. Okay. Any industrial fuses on the uh, thing here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Can I flip that off? Nope. Okay. Hey, Molly. Hey, newbie. What can I do for you? Uh, that's all. I thought she might be able to tell me some things, but nope. Alright, what else we got in here? A desk I can't enter or do anything with. Power armor mechanic who I can't talk to. Uh, random stuff and things. Another sofa, 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 sofa. So the sofas are kind of like the scribes, huh? Pre-war books, pre-war books. Administration. Oh, I just came out of here. Never mind. Man at arms, sofas. You look survivor of the Legion assault. Okay. It's old Forsyth's old office. Okay. A chair. Look at those chairs, people. What are you doing? Okay, that's all that's here. Okay. Noted. Let's keep heading up. We know what's down, kind of. We got the medical research. I mean, there's some people I can help in here with my medical know how. Ooh. God damn, that's nice. All right, hello, Scaretron. Surprising that it's up here in medical and not down below with uh, all the research and development stuff, you know? Sheesh. You're a wild one, aren't you? The domino would wring my neck if I stood on the furniture like that. What? What are you talking about? Huh? Huh? 
we know what you did. Open door to shower room. Bobby pins. Hell yeah. Okay. Nothing in here. These are just toilets. Ha ha! I trapped America. Oh, sponge. That's weird. Okay. Well, wait. Can I do anything with that? Nope. Okay. Now, I don't know why they made that a separate room that had to load. Oh, wow. Hello, everyone. You ever taste a real hamburger with cheese? Rumor has it you can get one in the frontier. We got a cafeteria. Is that just a door? Yep. Okay. Okay, this is not a cafeteria. This is a uh, shithole. Cafeteria is down a floor. Laboratory three. Napping. Okay, so it seems like the middle areas are all just like sleep areas. They're growing plants here. Okay. I'm a klepto. Can't do anything with that. Electrical agents and aerosols. Display case. What do we got here? Nothing. Okay. Activate penicillin bioreactor. After looking this over, uh, it's more complicated than you thought. Maybe if you had a si schematic of a bioreactor, you could attempt to repair it. Perhaps one can be found in the medical center nearby. Okay. Medical center as in, like, this area? Or as in, like, a completely different location? Like a different, uh, expired veterinary aesthetic. Uh, why is there a mini nuke in here? Ned's Fetchin' Fat Man. Oh, it's like a toy, I'm guessing, for dogs. Which is weird. Hello again. How may I... Uh, let's see. Am I feeling great? Yes, I can ameliorate any ailment. Uh, can you patch me up? You should really take less risks in combat. <laughs> Too many stimbacks aren't good. Yeah, you should have told me that, like, prior to me going to a space station and killing the Enclave. Or killing, yeah, killing the Enclave. That's who it was. Ooh, a medical dummy. Maria. How may I assist you? <gasps> do you sell goods? What do you think of Charlie and Molly? It's clear that both of them truly care about the Crusaders. But they also have different ideas for our future. Sadly, those ideas are contradictory to each other. Conflict is inevitable, and it will likely only get worse as time goes on. Her face seems a little small for that helmet, right? My name is Maria. I'm part of the Silvers. To put it simply, before... Okay. Oh. You don't actually say anything important or sell anything, so I don't know why I'm even talking to you. Injured soldier. One appears to be hanging on by life. She's heavily sedated and only responds with a moan of pain. Okay, can I heal her? No. Or this one? Nope. This one? No. They're all dying. Hope you're as good with the bobby pin as you are with the gun. Maria. Hush now. No to Leon and bottle caps, huh? Don't mind me, everyone. I'm just looting whatever the hell this is. Note to Leon. Leon, my love, I'm begging you to abandon this foolish crusade and come back to me. The ushers will bring you nothing but blood and pain. The round table is far from perfect, but you must see that the path the ushers follow will inevitably lead to the path of destruction. Who are the ushers? Ooh, uh, sterilized medical instruments. Nothing here that I want. Hey, Maria. How may I assist you? I found this thing. Nope, okay. I was thinking maybe, but probably not. Oh, are these the dissection tables that, like, they can't stop? So they just, like, kind of... Medics relocate. What? Was there a note on there that I accidentally took? Probably. 
I don't really pay attention. Is that just all blood? Oh, there's Stimpaks in there too. And... Poor... Poor prophylactic acid? Do you actually talk, or are you just another one of the, the nonsense Ever been to Utah? There? It's beautiful this time of year. Why are you talking about Utah? Well, I don't seem to be able to do anything in here. At least current. No. Whoopsie. What's this? Cryonics Investigation Notebook. Let's see, we managed to find a lab notebook, partially survived the attempt of burning, the handwriting was poor, uh, something about a hibernation chamber, yada yada. Okay, nothing too important there. What about this jar of stim packs? And medical devices, okay. Well, I think that's everything in here then it doesn't appear that I can help out with anything and there's nothing higher up okay perfect well let's just go back down then there's the biohazard floor Ugh. let's do a quick save here it's the round table floor which has nothing on it but beds in the round table here's the ground floor that we did not search at all. So I'll have to search that real quick. America. Fuck yeah. Coming to... Ooh. Not Welcome to the parlor. Rob Coat. You heard to look at... What's on your menu? Nothing great. Okay. How about yourself? About auto steward version 8. Okay. Image likeness. Okay. Good to know. You heard to look at... Back here. Nope. Ladies' room. Ooh, meeting people. Nuka Cola chairs. Awesome. Hey, look, it's Mr. House. What the fuck is that behind him? It's like a big Protectron robot, right? Man at arms. That's actually kind of interesting face mask, my man. It's like they took the, uh, the, the power armor like stuff and just kind of <laughs> welded it onto that, right? But look, they have some holy activate poor box. What? You wish to toss five caps to the poor souls of the wastes. Donation money, I'll steal it. No one will ever know. Yeah, sure, here, five, five caps. Take it. Nations of the poor have raised your karma. Hmm, of course. What is stuff? Ammunition? Don't mind me just rifling through your ammunition here. Drain cells for recharge. I'll grab those too. Hey, Jesse. Welcome to the tower. You should join us for a prayer and a bowl of hot stew. No, but like, can Remember, I give you stuff to repair this with? Honest hearts produce honest actions. Apparently not, is the answer to that. Well, to the frontier. Howl? Howl? You don't see anything? Okay. Fine then, Mr. Howl. I don't give a fuck. So I'm gonna go all the way over there, huh? This doesn't have a location. Find a center module, some pieces of scrap, some industrial fuses. I have two. Find motor oil. You should be able to find some at McCulloch Chainsaws. So I do that and do that. It gives me a couple of locations that stuff's found at. It looks like one of the markers is like right nearby, isn't it? Oh wait, is it? Is it literally on me? 
the player. It is. I think it's because I have some like, actually that I'm carrying. Okay. Uh, forging the sword. Where's this at? Oh, it's in Junk Flea? Or at least near Junk Flea, huh? Okay. I'll go over here real quick. Hoop -da. Oh boy. All right. Rocco Tower. Tabernathy. Portland office. Crown Bridge. Was there a medical center around here that I found before? No. Okay. Well, down to the junk flea area then. And we'll try and get a uh, this thing printed. Whatever we're doing with it. I don't know. Yeehaw. Okay. Um, is it, I guess we can go through Junk Flea. Unless it's like, oh, it's in Junk Flea, okay. Beware, the NCR has eyes everywhere. This behavior is considered uh, conduct unbecoming. Continue to aid the Brotherhood terrorists. Organization will be because that are an act of treason, okay. So if I uh, save, Can I name saves at all, or am I like... No, I can't, okay. Activated. Ink empty, no free ink, for huh? Well, this is a print shop. Maybe there is something here to make ink with. Let's look around. Ooh. 45 Using auto, a huh? Self boy would be more effective. Just saying. Serpentine. Homemade ink recipe. Of course. Dear friend, tired of playing a king's ransom for printer ink? Well, here's how you fix it. Yada, yada, yada. Get a bottle of Wonder Glue, a jar of gum amaric, clean water, and egg yolk. Source of carbon. Lead from two pencils will do in a pinch. Mix the glue with the yolk. Oh, by the gods. Did they say turpentine on there? No. Well, I need some uh, super glue, right? There was some super glue down here, I think. I saw it somewhere, didn't I? Am I just fucking blind? Need a couple of pencils anyway. Okay, there's two pencils. Some wonder glue. Paint guns. Cigarettes. Purified water. We got two Americ. I think that was everything we needed, right? It was a oh, one jar of Americ, clean water, egg yolk. Egg yolk? Where am I going to get eggs at? It seems like they want me to, like, just take stuff from here and not, like... Go outside, right? But I don't see anything that would have egg yolk here, right? Maybe I just try to use it now? And... Did I see anything named ink? I, I don't can't tell. Homemade ink. Fresh egg? Where do I get a fresh egg? I guess there's chickens outside, isn't there? Hold on. I seem to remember there being chickens roaming around when we were uh, here last time, right? Were they here or were they actually in the junk flea area? Metro tunnels. Ah, what a pain. Bang, bang. 
So this is junk flea, eh? Looks pretty cool. Do you think I could... Watch yourself. It's a place of pickpockets, junks, and scammers. Thanks for the warning. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, chickens! There it is. Come here, you fucking cock. No? Hmm. How about you? No? Hmm. Shit. I didn't do it. I said I didn't do it, y'all. I'm gonna reload because that was an accident. I was good so this is Junkly, like, eh? Tank was bad, let's see. Just another scav shithole, let's see. Yeah, pickpocket is drunks and yada yada. Sounds like the best option. Okay. So. You, sir, have the look of someone. You. What do you sell? You sell anything useful? What do you got for armor? Sure. Here is what I have. Combat armor, hazard stuff, recon armor. Hmm, an interesting looking helmet. I think I can sell you right now. Hey, plasma mine. I forgot I picked that up. That'll be all. Alright, eggs, eggs, eggs. Um. Do you sell eggs, Vincent? Yeah. Here's what I got. Man, imagine trying to find an actual egg in the wasteland. Surely there's someone here who, like, sells food, right? Eve, Howdy. Right? Name's Eve. Um... I want to buy. Only the freshest. There we go. Fresh egg. Or somewhat freshest. That's all. I just needed an egg. I just needed one, right? Come on. We have one egg yolk, a lot of clean water, gum, water glue, source of carbon for the pencils. Okay. And then I should be able to use this workbench here to make it. Homemade ink. Done. All right, America. Let's go print these papers and see if the NCR decides to kick me out. Because if they do, we're going to have to abandon this quest line. And you are going to turn traitor on your Brotherhood folks. And we're going to be uh, joining the NCR. But at least I'll have a save for if I decide to do the, uh, the Brotherhood thing later, right? Or the Crusader thing. I don't know. I usually don't like siding with religious lunatics, but we'll see how this goes. Maybe they're not quite as crazy as they seem. At least I don't like their leader. I think uh, Molly is a better person so far. Please refill ink. Please refill ink. Please refill ink. How do I fucking do it? How? How do I refill it? Where's the ink reservoir? Where? Where is this ink reservoir? Okay, listen, you, you gotta fucking tell me where the ink reservoir is at. Okay. What is it? Aid? Nope. Miscellaneous? Gum armor. I'm gonna put the gum in there too, just because I don't want it in my fucking inventory. Okay. Welcome back, Steve. Last service was a while ago. Uh, print from the holodisc. Classified. Project Jericho removed. Okay. Return to Molly with the blueprints. There's nothing about the NCR hating me yet. All right. Where do you suppose those schematics ended up? Project Jericho, huh? 
Interesting. The green fairy, huh? Nah, I'm good. We're gonna go back to Rocco Tower. I don't have time to do a scavenger hunt for random little shit. What? What are you talking about? Oh, Abernathy Camp is under attack from the Legion. Oh. Take them down. You losers! It is I, the courier. Hello. One sec, my vats is warming up or I crashed. One of the two happened. We'll see. Oh, 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 oh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> One day. Is it just lagging? Oh, it crashed. Runtime error. This application requests the runtime to terminate in an unusual way. Okay. Rip. Let's just go back in there real quick. Okay. Continue real quick like. Ha 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 ha! Oh no! Everything's dying! Bang! 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 Oh my god! The Legion stands. No chance against. Hey! 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 Fuck. Crashed again. One more try. I think it might have been because I was trying to talk to the uh, the robot uh, whilst um, doing stuff. So we'll see uh, if that was the case. Because I'll try to kill the one guys first. But if uh, if we soft locked, we might have to do some other stuff instead of doing Brotherhood stuff <laughs> or Crusader stuff, as they say. And we crashed. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. Um. Okay. Question. If we reload a previous save, does it work? That's the question here. Clickety clack. No, don't continue. Load. And let's go to this frontier. Okay. I'm going to, uh, Change my quest back to that. Maybe it's because the quest is trying to like that quest was trying to like load all that stuff. Maybe could be. I don't know. I'm just giving explanations. It's definitely something game related. Oh, no, to Come on, we gotta help them. Or destroy the Crusaders for the Legion. Well, that's fucked up. Man. Okay. Now let's talk to the ninth eye. Ninth eye?
Does it not want to talk to me, or are we just busy? I can't tell. Hey! Ninth Eye. I can't, don't remember if I've already done his quest or not. Well, let's try a... Hold on. Oh, I actually have to go all the way to Abernathy Camp. Okay. Well, shit. I'll talk to the ninth eye afterwards then. On me, y'all. The Legion's just getting massacred. My god. Like, they killed one Brotherhood guy? I'm gonna take that laser PDW, though. See how that works, you know what I'm saying? Frontline machine gun, camo. Let me actually equip that real quick. Let's give his baby a test. Who are you? War refugee, why are you all the way out here? I don't know, I'm just gonna follow the quest marker. A single shot? Okay. Nope, that's not good. That's good though! <laughs> By allowing the death of Optifer Rufus, you have proved that you are no friend of the Legion, you've been marked for death. Well, technically, I've already been marked for death before, so it doesn't really matter. But you know what? I like their moxie. Okay. Come on, America. We've got the job to do. So I guess if you uh, maybe did not help the NCR at first, and you instead decided to find the Brotherhood people here, that would have been the cutoff for the Legion. I don't know. I'm still trying to see if uh, the NCR will eventually hate me here. I'm just going to do a quick save, too, since we actually made it without locking up. All right, where's the ninth eye? There he is. Ninth eye! Do you want to talk to me now, hombre? Ninth Eye, you talk, me talk, we talk. I've only done a couple of them though. Yeah, I haven't done the Ninth Eye yet. Talk to me, Ninth Eye. Talk, talk to me. Fine. I don't care. Pretty sure I'm screwed out of that mission anyway because the uh, the one that was near the downed vertebrate that World Pack died on got blown up, so I can't even talk to it. All right, we're talking to Molly, who is where's Jesse? She's not fixing the door anymore. Molly was on the oh my gosh, she was on the highest floor, wasn't she? Should be right here in the R&D labs, I think. Molly, is she sleeping over here? Ah, oh, hello, Molly. Hey, newbie. What can I do for you? You remind me of... The Wasteland Survival Guide Girl. Here's the blueprints. Let's have a look. Hmm. More complicated than I thought. 
Uncle Sam brought out the big brains to cook this bad boy up, I see. Nothing I can't crack. Give me some time and I'll have it worked out. I'll send you a message on that pit boy once I get this piece together. Say, you two make a good team. Why don't you take America with you while you're running around, newbie? It'll be good for both of you. A dishonorable discharge from the NCR. You've been observed providing weapons technology to an enemy force. General Blackthorn decided to forego the usual punishment and simply give you a dishonorable discharge. Don't take his mercy for granted. NCR military forces will from now on be none too happy to see you. If you wish that for that to ever change, you'd best to avoid them for now. Well, you've proven yourself useful, Charlene, and Dominic Clan could use your help. Speak to them for that concerns. Okay. Well. Fuck. We can go ahead and load this save. Okay, well, we uh, officially cannot do anything else with the Brotherhoods, so. Or the, the, the Crusaders, I should say. That is, uh. Oof. Unfortunate. Come on. You can do it. Load. Load. Come on! This is not my computer lagging, by the way. It's the game. My computer's sitting at, like, perfect stats, so. Are y'all under attack again? Is that why I'm lagging here? I just alt forward. So anyway, we'll go ahead and just end things there for now, everyone. So it looks like we can't do anything else with the Crusaders, unfortunately. I was hoping we could do more with them before uh, going against the Legion with the NCR, you know, at least to kind of pad a little bit of things. But you know what? That's fine and dandy. We'll just, uh, next time we'll hop back on to the NCR route. I've already sold all the goods I needed to sell. And, uh, yeah, we will, I guess we're sneaking into a Legion fort. I wonder if America can come with us. Curious. Hmm. She doesn't really have a place with the Crusaders, so she might as well come with us, right? We can give her some guns, have her carry them for us. Be our pack mule. Doesn't feel damaged, you know, all the good stuff. All right. Well, everyone, thank you all for coming today. Next week, we'll be continuing with our uh, Frontier playthrough here of the NCR, at least anyway. Um, maybe once the NCR one's complete, I will do the Crusader one, since it's like just right there, and I have a save for it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go from there. So, uh, the VOD for this, if you missed anything, will be uploaded to YouTube on youtube.com slash plagueandshiki. You can catch it there in a couple of hours once it finishes processing and uploading and all that good stuff. But until then, everyone, I will catch you all later. You have a Lovely time. Bye for now.